Good afternoon, Wolfpack families. My name is Eric Mulver. I am the proud principal here at Edgerton Elementary. We want to welcome you to the 2020 school year. We're going to take a little bit of time this afternoon to do a virtual open house. We're going to spend a little time in the building. We're going to spend a little time talking about life here at Edgerton. And uh, hopefully you'll leave with just a, a, at least a little bit of an impression of what life's going to be like here at Edgerton for you this year. First of all, I'd like to introduce our new assistant principal. This is Mrs. Alexa Williams. Give Mrs. Williams a big hand, everybody. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, Wolfpack. I am Mrs. Williams, your new assistant principal. I'm very excited to be here. A little bit about myself. Um, I graduated from Emerald Ridge High School. I uh, have worked in the Puyallup School District for the last seven years, and I'm really excited to uh, get started on this new school year with you. Thank you. You're welcome. We've got an airplane flying overhead. Hopefully you can hear us. I've been in education for 34 years. Um, this is my third year here at Edgerton. Uh, it's just wonderful to be here. Um, so again, welcome. Hopefully uh, um, you get some information out of this tonight that uh, just helps everything go smoother for you. So. We're going to take a little walk around the building, you guys. This is our main entry here at Edgerton, uh, boys and girls. We're going to take a little walk inside, and our first stop is going to be our main office. Follow us. Well, welcome inside Edgerton, everyone. Uh, families, uh, this is our main office. Many of you have, have been here. I just wanted to introduce our office team. They're not here, of course. But uh, our office manager is Mrs. Carolyn Shaw, and our secretary team is Mrs. Julie Stutz and Mrs. Donna Drum. Uh, they're just fantastic. We also have a great uh, team in our in our health room as well. So that's a little bit about our office. And what, Mrs. Williams? What are all these computers doing in here? Oh, that's a great question, Mr. Mulber. These computers are what students will use for our Continuous Learning 2.0 this year. Uh, we've already done some distribution. Uh, last week and it's been going really smooth. Kids are excited to get their computers and uh, giving out many more this upcoming week. Great job. Take great care of those computers. We'll talk a little bit later about just uh, how those are going to help you uh, have a great year. Let's take a walk out to our foyer. Sounds good. So families, this is our main foyer uh, as you come into our building. Uh, Edgerton is about 10 years old. Uh, it's just an absolutely beautiful, well taken care of school. Uh, but what I notice in this foyer is not what it typically looks like. So Mrs. Williams, what is going on with all these boxes out here? Yeah, there are a lot of boxes out here, aren't there, Mr. Mulhorn? So these boxes, families, are um, full of all of the student workbooks, math workbooks, science workbooks, planners that students will get um, in the upcoming weeks. This is, these are going to be great resources for students to use at home during their next Continuous Learning 2.0 plan. Oh, I see science workbooks, I see whiteboards, I see planners. Outstanding. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Mulder, what, what is this over here? This oh, looks pretty cool. I'm glad you asked. This, this is very special to us, and, and I know some of you watching will recognize this. Some of you watching actually made these signs. So last spring, as you guys all remember, uh, we went to uh, online learning in March. And one of the most special moments in that was our, our opportunity to do a parade through the community. Uh, there was a lot of cheers, a lot of tears, and a lot of beautiful signs were made. It boosted the morale of both our teaching team and I think the community as well. So these are the signs that we will never get rid of. They're beautiful, they're thoughtful, they're very meaningful, and it just, I look at it, and it just continues to, to tell me uh, the great relationship that we have uh, in this community with everyone. So I'm glad you asked about that. One of my favorite things. You know, Mrs. Williams, what I think would be great is if we could show students what a typical classroom at Edgerton looks like. Yeah, that's something. They're great. beautiful. Um, let's just stop in here. This is Mrs. Walker's third grade classroom. Perfect. Come on in, boys and girls. Families, while we're in a classroom, this would be the perfect time for us to share a little bit about the amazing teaching and support team that we have here at Edgerton. 
in the clip, in the open house uh, video tonight, there will be a part where you'll be able to view last year's staff picture. And we have just a, a huge amount of our great returning staff coming back. However, we also uh, are welcoming some brand new staff members to the Edgerton team, and I'd like to take a moment to introduce them to you. We have Hope Bales, our new music teacher. We have Miss Alicia Balzaretti, she's a kindergarten academy teacher. Felicia Daniels is our brand new preschool teacher. Eric Gustafson is our new PE teacher. Alexa Williams, of course, is our new assistant principal. We have Mrs. Brianna Bouvier, our new librarian. Caden Shepherd, brand new fifth grade teacher. Also joining the fifth grade team, Shannon Kelsch. We have Bailey Bach, teaching kindergarten. Amy Stock, teaching third grade. I'd like to welcome Adriana Tweet. She is doing her student teaching in uh, sixth grade with Mrs. Tuddy. And we have Kimmy Dusto, and she's a brand new speech language pathologist. So join me in welcoming all of those new uh, staff members to the Wolfpack family. In a classroom, I think this would be the perfect setting, Mrs. Williams, to talk about the expectations and hopes that we have for students as they engage in online learning. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, students, as we don't have you here in the school, um, as you see the, the seats are empty and, and we are just really wanting to get you back here as soon as possible. But in the meantime, as we're doing Continuous Learning 2.0, it's really important that uh, you stay engaged and our hopes is, are that you uh, work together to be on time, uh, to engage with your teachers, engage with other students on your online learning uh, platform. Um, and we really hope and have high expectations for you as we would in any school year. Yeah, attendance will be taken every day. Yeah. And so we just, uh, we need you to just think of this as just a regular school year. We're going to take real good care of you. Let me tell you a little bit about maybe what a daily schedule will look like. Um, it's going to be actually very similar to a daily schedule that you would have had if we would have been able to be here at Edgerton. Uh, you're going to start each morning at 830 with a morning meeting with your teacher. That often will lead into uh, our ELA or reading block. Our reading block will typically uh, roll into a lunch break in the middle of the day and the afternoon will be more spent on math. In between those content areas, just like every other year, We'll spend time on social studies and science. There's going to be, a, oh, of course, PE, library, music. You're going to get to work with those teachers online. Um, uh, you're, um, I'll, oh, I'll talk a little bit later about lunches. That, yeah. that reminded me uh, about lunches a little bit. Um, there's, there's two kinds of learning that are happening. Two big words here, two big new vocabulary words, synchronous and asynchronous learning. To me, I remember them as synchronous means live learning. That's where your teacher is going to be uh, just like they were with you last spring, online in a Microsoft Teams format, engaging with all of you. Parts of your day are going to spend in what we call asynchronous, and asynchronous learning is where you're going to have the opportunity to do some independent work, some follow-up activities, and view recorded activities from your teacher as well. And the nice thing about that is you're always able to go back to some of those lessons later in the evening over the weekend to reinforce your learning. So I think this is going to work out great. Uh, let's, let's take a walk out to the playground. Sounds good. We'll see you there. Hey, Edgerton families, we just wanted to bring you outside to look at our beautiful playground. Um, really on a nice, bright, sunny day today. Uh, some things that I just want to share with you that have really impressed me about Edgerton so far. Uh, the teaching staff here is amazing. Uh, the families that I met are amazing. Um, and so, Mr. Mulber, you know what my favorite thing is? Oh, well, I mean, if I had to guess, I can tell you the lunches. I mean, have you seen no, our Mr. salad Mulver? bar? We've got a salad bar. Mr. Mulver, the kids. The kids are oh, my favorite well. thing. Yeah, okay, oh, the kids, for sure the kids, yes. but, but let me go back to the lunches. They really are good. My favorite of anywhere I've ever been, no doubt. Listen, we want to thank you for spending time with us this afternoon. Let me tell you just a little bit about kind of next steps for this school year for about the next week and a half. We're going to start our year uh, in, a, in, in a mode called uh, Smart Start. And so families, over the next couple of days, 
you're going to get uh, an invitation from your teachers to uh, set up an appointment over Microsoft Teams. That appointment is going to give us an opportunity over a week's time to have one-to-one -one meetings with every child to do assessments and to get to know each other uh, a lot better than uh, we would without that. So you'll get information about that uh, coming up soon. As always, if you have any questions, check our website, contact us at 253-840-8809, email us. Um, there's a lot of information about all of these schedules, all of the smart start on the Puyallup School District website. We look forward to seeing many of you this week, because we've still got computer pickups uh, for families coming up. But most importantly, we just want to let you know how much we miss you and how much we look forward to being together again. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Have a good evening.